I'm Robert Bell, and we're here with WTA members, friends, and colleagues at the IBC 2014 show, looking at the vast changes taking place in the media and entertainment industry, and how those are going to shape the future for teleport operators worldwide. Well, our core competency is, is video encoding, and the driver for that, for high throughput, is going to be HEVC, the evolving standard that's now finalized. That's the next generation over MPEG-4. It promises about a 50% gain in efficiency, meaning we can stuff twice, half again as many bits into a pipe, or reduce the size of the pipe to support all kinds of broadcast requirements. And as more TV goes, IP-centric and mobile, it's increasingly important to make it, take advantage of precious, scarce bandwidth, which might be in KA, it might be on terrestrial, but all bandwidth is dear. And the more we can do with it, the more the economics of the business makes sense for our customers. Yeah, I mean, we've always dealt with the premium of 500 megahertz in C-band or KU band. And on, on spot beam satellites, we get maybe five-fold reuse, but it still comes down to what the terminals support, not what the satellite supports. In KA band, it's always been trying to get to the smallest possible, most portable terminal. In Marsat, it's got the, m much more of an issue with, what, 20 megahertz of bandwidth across their entire fleet. You look what an XM is trying to do for digital radio and all this. So compression is still the key to everybody's economic model. And we've gone through two, three generations now from early MPEG-2, MPEG-4, and now HEVC is the next big thing to drive um, utilization of bandwidth. This is another point of inflection for the industry. Uh, HEVC is, is going to change a lot of the business models and the leaders in this space are not the old establishment leaders in, um, in, in video pr production compression. This is a chance for a new vanguard of companies with leading edge technologies who invest in their core. Uh, in our case, it's our patents, it's our, it's our contribution to the standards, and it's our deep, deep knowledge of video encoding and compression. And it's leading us at a time where a little guy like us can make a big, big, big uh, uh, set of noise in this marketplace. Well, there, there are a number. I mean, there's, you know, 10 years ago, we did not have an aeronautical marketplace. You had Inmarsat with low bandwidth lifeline services to ships and, and, and mobility stories in the truck fleets. But now everybody's trying to move video. Video is the driver for bandwidth consumption everywhere. And everybody's trying to do more with the precious bandwidth they have. And so, you know, clearly that's what's moving the marketplace. And as, as the whole world's gone non-linear in how one produces video, and, and again, most channels these days are nothing more than a video jukebox, right? Where you're, you're programming files and delivering on both a linear and non-linear basis to, to tens, hundreds, millions of subscribers. Well, it, it's got to continue to innovate and evolve. And obviously, the threats on the ground are real. But you look at what's going on in the satellite business over the last 20 years, it's still thriving. Places where there's demand, the bandwidth is full. Um, some of it has to be ginned and create new markets again. You know, 10 years ago, cellular trunking was the salvation for a lot of unused C-band in this business. That's all changed now. That's gone back to the ground, but people are coming up with new applications to use bandwidth. And again, video has always been the key because it's a one-to-many medium. Satellite best serves the any-to-any and one-to-medium, uh, one-to-many marketplaces. And so long as they keep their eye on those objectives, what satellites are best at, the, the business will be fine. Well, we just support customers, so in, in some respects we're agnostic to whose bandwidth it is, so long as they're trying to do more with it. At the end of the day, there's, people are driving millions of consumers to that bandwidth whether it's over satellite or whether it's terrestrial, um, wireline, wireless. We are uh, agnostic to that because, they, again, we're going to make everybody's job easier and deliver higher quality at lower, lower bandwidth for all the niches and applications. So we're on the sidelines relative to um, the struggle for C-band.